Welcome all sports fans, YouTubers, Facebookers, all social media across the nation. Uneducated never presents uneducated sports talk, and I am your host, Carlos Clayton. And before I get to the topic, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share, all that good stuff. This is Uneducated Network. It's visiting all kinds of shows. My show, uh, Uneducated Sports Talk, and So You Think You Know Sports, and etc. etc. You'll know what it is. Just click on uh, Uneducated Network. Please share and hit the notification button as well. The bell. Ding! You know what I'm saying? But I'm excited because uh, today we got breaking news. I'm talking about 30 minutes breaking news, man. Kyrie Irving have been traded to the... Nope. Traded to the... New nope. Traded to the minutes. Nope, he's been traded to the Boston Celtics. That's right, I said it, I'm not lying. Kyrie Irving has been traded to the Boston Celtics for Isaiah Thomas, we got Jay Crowder, we have the center Ante Zizek, and then the 2018 Brooklyn Nets first round pick. That is crazy, the biggest news of the day, the biggest news of the week, probably the biggest news of the month, has just broke out. Kyrie Irving is being traded to the Boston Celtics. We knew something was going on, the straw that broke the camel's back. We talked about it on In the Paint with Red, our last episode on that show. If you haven't seen it, please check it out, In the Paint with Red, where we discussed about Kyrie Irving. What happened was there were two trades going down. Uh, Kyrie Irving to the Phoenix Suns, and there was the Paul George trade with Kevin Love going on. What happened was Dan Gilbert went to LeBron and said, look, we got these two trades going down. Name which one you want to go down, and we will... We will do that, but you have to guarantee us that you will stay uh, with, with Cleveland um, for the next couple years or for, ne or for the next two years, excuse me. And LeBron denied it. He didn't want to do that. Well, word got out to Kyrie Irving, uh, them saying that, hey, you know, LeBron almost could have had your fate. And so Kyrie's like, hold on, I'm not going to let another player on my team decide where I go because I was almost a Phoenix son. Now, when I was saying that Phoenix, Sacramento, Denver, one of those teams, but a bottom west team will get Kyrie. I thought it was a safe bet. But now you realize that Boston, with all those assets, they finally got what they wanted. I just thought Cleveland wouldn't trade with them because right now Boston is probably the only team that can somewhat compete with Cleveland. And now you trade point guards. Isaiah Thomas, the beloved point guard for the Boston Celtics, has been traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Basically, it was Kyrie Irving. Is that good of a player? He is, he is that good. He is a top 10 player of the NBA for sure. Isaiah Thomas, then you got Jay Crowder, and then the, uh, Ante Zizi, and then you had a 2018 first round pick. Jay Crowder and that center that I keep messing his name up, they don't really matter in this trade, to be honest. It's all about Isaiah Thomas and that 2018 first round pick. Those two things equal Kyrie Irving. Those two things equal Kyrie Irving right there. And that's why they made the deal go down. Because if they did not have that 2018 first round pick that go that belongs to the Nets, this trade would never go down. So Danny Age has been using these picks and he's been waiting, patiently, waiting on, on what to do with it. And let's be honest, he did not have to use much to get this. Both teams, in my opinion, before we get there, both teams won. I will tell you who I think absolutely won the trade, but both teams won, regardless of what happened. Here's why. They get rid of a disgruntled player with your Cleveland Cavaliers, you get rid of Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving has been saying for the longest he wants to be traded. He's very disgruntled, and they did not want to deal with that. Kyrie Irving has been traded. And if you're Cleveland, you get Jay Crowder, who's okay, but he gives you depth. What well, they've been missing the last couple years against the Warriors, because let's be honest, they're only playing against one or now maybe two teams, but uh, but they want to get play against the Warriors. Like you, you add depth with Jay Crowder, and then you also get a uh, – if they can use the young big man, I don't know if they're going to use him as much. Uh, but they're going to probably try to get him. And that's what they want. But then you get Isaiah Thomas, who was the main factor, who can't create for himself. At one point, and he was Mr. Fourth Quarter, Mr. Money in the Bank, if you want to call it like that. He was the guy that the Celtics went to. He was the hottest thing for about a three, four-month period, especially going to the fourth quarter. I think he was second place in fourth quarter scoring this year. So you got a guy who's going to come out there and... He's not afraid of anything. He is the little big man, as Devontae Rowan, a.k.a. Red, would we'll call him. The little big man in the paint. So, that being said, that's what they got. They got a guy who can do things that Kyrie Irving can do. Not as Kyrie's level. Isaiah Thomas is clearly a top 30 guy in the NBA. But Kyrie Irving is a top 10 guy. That's the difference right there uh, in the heat of the moment. Uh, both guys are kind of injury prone when we're talking Kyrie and Isaiah Thomas. But our, Isaiah is just so, so, so small. 5'9", he's probably 5'7", in real life, to be honest, but 5'9", and he just had hip surgery 
following Eastern Conference uh, playoffs where he hurt he hurt himself the series before against the Wizards, I believe. But he just had hip surgery, so it would be interesting to see him come in to start the season off how he he, he would be because being traded, I know it's kind of a blow for him to be traded to the Cavaliers, but sooner than later he's going to realize playing with LeBron James is pretty fun. We're, we're talking about the on the court stuff, not the off the, off the court stuff, but on the court. And uh, so you get that. And then if you're Boston, if you're Boston, you get a undeniably great score. Now, mind you, they just picked up Jason Tatum from the uh, Blue Devils, the third overall pick, and this, uh, this draft just came. And then you got Gordon Hayward, who was not a slouch himself, who was also a top 30 player. And now you add in a Kyrie Irving, who, who's going to change the dynamic of this team. He's a, he's, he's, he's a small point guard, but he's not as small as Isaiah. And he, he can get to the rim whenever he wants to. He can create his own shot. He can do what he wants to do. I, I like the fact that you get a dynamic score. I think being in Cleveland held him down. This is a guy who could average 30 points per game. He only averaged 25 last year, but he could have easily averaged 30, while Isaiah Thomas averaged 29 uh, last year with the Celtics. So Kyrie Irving comes in. You get a playmaker. You get a guy. He won't necessarily make everybody better, but you can count on him for crunch time. And now you add a Gordon Hayward, who was a skillful player as well. And then Jason Taylor, who looked very well in the summer league, and that summer league, of course. But he seems like he might be the best overall player in this draft that just came out, which might be one of the best drafts since 03. So this Boston Celtics team is primed and ready. The Cavaliers team, we already know they are primed and ready still. Now, before I talk about who had the better deal, let's talk about who's the better team still. Yes, it is still the Cleveland Cavaliers. Not because of Isaiah, not because of the, the, uh, the uh, switching going on, not because they let Kyrie go. No, because they had the best player on the planet in LeBron James. While he is still there, Cleveland will always be the favorite in the East. But the gap between Boston and Cleveland is like this now. I think Kyrie Irving is that special. You put Kyrie Irving with some talent, and they have a free flow offense in Boston as it is already. So Kyrie is going to excel in that kind of offense. They're up and down. They like to shoot the ball. Where you was in Cleveland, one, they didn't have the right pieces before LeBron went there. They were still a scrub team. So Kyrie couldn't do anything with that team. And now you get a team coached by Brad Stevens, who was an excellent coach. I, by the way, a very excellent coach. He will put Kyrie Irving in the right places at the right time. And you put the ball in Kyrie's hand and you let him just go out and create. Because that's what he's going to do. This Boston Celtics team is going to be a fun team to watch. I promise you guys that. They will be a fun team to watch. Kyrie said, uh, well, Kyrie was smart. Remember he said he, he wasn't going to stay long term. That's because he had a feeling that the Cavaliers were going to trade him to a bad Western Conference team. That was smart on his part. I, I said that at one point. It was smart on his part. I, I said it, it kind of went both ways. It was, it was smart and not so smart. But the not so smart part was the Cleveland Cavaliers would, would, would keep them. The smart part is the Cavaliers will trade him to a contender. And not only to a contender like the Spurs, but to, to someone in their own conference who's the only team that has a threat before Kyrie. They had a threat. They were a threat to beat the Boston Celtics. Now, the, uh, the margin is this thin now. It could be, you know, they're neck and neck. They're neck and neck. So I think the Cleveland Cavaliers are still the better team. Now, who got the best end of the deal? The Cleveland Cavaliers, yes, and here is why. Not only did you prepare for this year, but you prepared for next year as well. You prepared for next year as well. Yes, Kyrie Irving is a stud, but Kyrie Irving still is going to be an unrestricted free agent. Isaiah Thomas is an unrestricted free agent. But here's two options for the Cleveland Cavaliers for next year. One, if LeBron does leave, you can give all the money to Isaiah Thomas. And Isaiah Thomas will happily take that money and be the leader of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Oh, and by the way, Number two, you have the Nets 2018 first round pick. Let's be honest, the Nets might not be a good team. You're looking at probably one through five draft pick. Someone, uh, for sure, for sure, a lottery team. For sure, a lottery team. But you're looking at the best case scenario is the Nets are one through five, one through three. And then you get that great pick to go along with Isaiah Thomas. Because if LeBron leaves and doesn't want to take that money, well, here we go. LeBron leaves. Isaiah Thomas becomes the man you build around him and that draft pick that you have in 2018. So that was smart on Cleveland. Boston, Danny Ainge has been holding all these draft picks on for the longest. He's been holding them and he's been dealing and not dealing and taking this deal and not taking that deal. And people have, um, 
they have they have basically bashed him for not making a strong pick. We all heard about the rumors with Paul George, how did he not give out those picks? Did, did he get those picks out? And did the Pacers accept it or not accept it? We don't know that. So, but now we realize Danny Ainge is waiting for this moment and he, he was waiting for the right guy. And yes, Kyrie Irving is going to be an unrestricted free agent. I understand that part, but he's like, you know what? This is it. This is the deal. To be honest, they didn't give up that much either. Isaiah Thomas is in the same deal. He will be an unrestricted free agent as well. So you're like, well, we give up two guys. The only difference is we give up a draft pick. We got plenty more to put in store. So both guys are unrestricted free agents. And it was most likely Isaiah Thomas was probably not going to stay there. You never know because the man wants a big contract. And I don't know, you know, you, you just never know. So you know what? You say, we give Kyrie. If Kyrie feels like he has success with a contending team, Kyrie's going to stay. One is Boston. So Boston has their beloved crowd. Kyrie's going to love them. Two, Kyrie, you're the man now. Period. You're the man. So Kyrie understands that if we have a great year and I'm feeling what's going on and I'm the man and we have a good team around us, oh, I'm staying. I'm staying there in Boston. So it was, it was great for both teams. I still think Cleveland won it just because they won it for now and for the future. And Boston, they had to earn that future. When I say earn, that means they had to play well. Kyrie plays well as well. And then Kyrie signs next year. So they had to earn it, whether it is to the Eastern Conference Finals or NBA Finals, whatever. But this team is going to be very exciting to watch. Like I said, I still think the Cavaliers are the better team just because LeBron James is still there. And Isaiah Thomas can do some things that Kyrie can. Now, there's a lot he can't do that Kyrie can, but there's still a lot that he can do. Now, I know that makes sense, but Isaiah Thomas is not shabby at all. He's still a top 30 guy, but then you add Gordon Harry to that mix for the Celtics. He's a top 30 guy. So now this team, it looks totally different as Boston Celtics team does than what it did last year. But they're more exciting and they're more dangerous. Are the Cavaliers more dangerous than this year? Probably not, but when you have the best player on the planet, LeBron James, on your team, you will always feel that you are the best team in the Eastern Conference. Now, all this matters when it comes down to the Warriors? No, <laughs> it's not going to matter, especially if Isaiah Thomas uh, having a guard or Steph Curry. That's going to be just bad news bears uh, for the Cavaliers if they make it back to the finals. But you had to get rid of Kyrie and you had to find out for your future. This, this is a deal they did not consult with LeBron James. I can guarantee you that right now. It's not the deal, but LeBron is a trooper. He, I know what he's going to say. I'm going to play with the guys I play with. I'm going to deal with my cards. I'm still going to fight and try and go back to the finals and win a championship. That's what he's going to say. Would it submit LeBron James from... Uh, uh, from leaving? No, not at all. LeBron's going to do what he wants to do. He's the best player. He's using that to his leverage. He's been doing that for the last six, seven years now. So, I'm very excited. Kyrie Irving has just been traded to the Boston Celtics. The most important question, and here's the most important question I'm asking and people across the nation are asking all the uneducated sports talk people wondering, the cover of 2K18, how are you going to change that? <laughs> Kyrie's on the cover in a Cleveland Cavaliers jersey. Are you going to give out a special edition Boston Celtics uh, Kyrie Irving? I'm very curious how they're going to change that. I know that the same thing happened when uh, Brett Favre had left Green Bay and went to the Jets, but he was on the cover of Madden and they kind of gave out you know, uh, alternate uh, covers. So that's going to be kind of crazy to see. Maybe they have time to change it. Maybe they don't. Maybe they give out alternate covers. I have no idea. But that Kyrie Irving in the number two green is going to be very interesting and oh by the way they just i mean they only played the first game of the season against each other october 17th boston kyrie Irvin and the boston Celtics will be going to cleveland cavaliers where he'll face isaiah thomas and lebron james talk about drama the nba season off season has gone crazy which has made me eager to see the nba season because before when the playoffs just ended and the Warriors won. I was like, what the hell are we going to do now? Because this regular season is going to be dull. No, the offseason has been dynamite. This is basically the icing on the cake. I mean, trading camp is basically just a month and a half away pretty much. So we are going to find out what is going on pretty freaking soon. I am excited. I'm very excited. My name is Carlos Clayton. Check me out on Facebook. I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana, if that helps. Check me out on Twitter, at Carlos Clayton underscore. I repeat, at Carlos Clayton underscore. And this has been breaking news. Kyrie Irving has been traded to the Boston Celtics. So um, this is Uneducated Network, and it presents Uneducated Sports Talk. And as always, sports fans, stay smart, stay educated.
Peace. Got another episode coming up pretty soon today.